Welcome to another episode of Rate or Roast My Rig. I'm your host, Fluff, and I'm feeling kind of saucy today. I think uh, I think there's gonna be some good roasting. A little bit of rating, but mostly roasting, because you know what? When you have some sauce, you like to roast. And when I say sauce, I mean coffee. Or whiskey, who knows, right? <laughs> Let's get to roasting. This is a cool rig, right off the bat. Really, really cool rig. EVH5153 EO3450 watt head, which I own. Mine is right over there. This setup right here probably stays just like this because you have plenty of room in your apartment because you don't do anything else and you don't really probably own any furniture. But when people on the rare occasion come over to your place, it's set up just like this and you go, oh that, that's my rig. And it's called the rig or your rig or my rig. I see that keyboard up there too. You probably get some stock Casio beats and you just jam along and impress all the ladies. Man, you're living the life, honestly. But nonetheless, it's tidy and it's clean and I'm gonna have to give it four out of five beards. Wow. Okay, so you got a little cute little Fender combo amp. You have a Zoom processor. Wow, really impressive, bro. You have an Ibanez and a Jackson, both leaning against the wall without a stand, and they're gig bags. Dude, you don't gig. You ain't going anywhere with this rig. But I do like the switch that shows courtesy because clearly whoever's watching you play on the rare occasion that someone does come and watch you play in your bedroom, you can give them the switch to pass the time and pass the boredom that inevitably incurs when you start playing. Pass the time with a little bit of Zelda, huh? You can sit there, you can just do your thing, you can play all your white snake licks or whatever you're doing while they play Zelda, while they level you up on your Switch. It's brilliant, really. Your operation is tight, and I like it. I'm gonna give your setup three out of five beards. Oh man, so this is an update to a previous rig that me and Josh raided and or roasted on a previous episode. He's expanded it a little bit, he's changed some things out, it's still one of the nastiest rigs and one of the nastiest setups I have ever personally seen. I wanna hate on it. I want to, but there's nothing to hate. I would lose my Doom card, and I don't wanna lose my Doom card. I have to give this rig five out of five beards. Now here we go, now this is creative, okay? Line six, 412, or 410, I think. Victory amp, and then you have your other rig, which is uh, a PV34, 3120, a Crate 412. You do have a Holcomb PRS, which is a great guitar. And then you have you have the guy from Pirates of the Caribbean cut out, and then you have some other Skull Voodoo Ranger guy right in the middle, so you can feel like people are gonna watch you because real people probably don't wanna watch you uh, because you're so good, good. And you're, again, your 10 year old boss processor, maybe boss just makes 10 year old looking processors. I don't know. But either way, your wall looks like it's decorated like a bar because you really wanna play gigs, but no one wants to be in a band with you. I back it though. I like your office chair. I like the mess behind the amps, piece of paper on the floor. I can smell this basement. It smells wet, like old dog water or something. Two out of five beards. This is an overly complicated looking setup only because of the, the combination of the mic stand and the amp stand with the Shure sticker on it because that adds to the tone with your PV, I think that's a PV Viper or something. You're also left-handed, so instantly you're evil. Now my daughter is left-handed and she's evil. Most left-handed people I've ever met are in fact evil. But it's clean and it looks like you're in some sort of apartment, probably not yours because judging by your gear, you probably can't afford rent in an apartment. But still, I'm gonna give you a rig two and a half out of five beards. Okay, this is probably one of the ugliest guitars we have ever had on Raider Roast, my rig. Why? An Epiphone headstock on a Flying V body looks ridiculous to me. I have never seen this guitar. I don't know what model it is, but that looks atrocious and someone should kill it before it breeds or at least set it on fire or something. I do like the orange Brent, uh, Brent Hines Terror. I like the Vox combo amp. I like the mini tube screamer, although you should be on a pedal board. 
you have a couple of guitars in the rack and you also have sweaters. You also have sweaters right above this rig. Probably you switch them out when you go and do your serial killing in the winter to keep you warm. Uh, because, you know, unless you get some blood spatter in your face, uh, you probably are quite cold when you're doing all your stabbing. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and give your rig three out of five beards. Boy, wow. Don't blow me away with the picture quality, guys. I don't even know what half these are. It's so dark in here, but you have a shot, shot ass, uh, some kind of a speaker cabinet. It used to be a combo. You're probably just using it for the speaker, I'm guessing, since you have the orange micro dark up top. You have a more GT200 processor. You have some off-brand Strat looking thing and a Jackson guitar and a Schecter. Go figure, that's shocking. And your bed right next door. So I'm gonna say this is either a college dorm or your parents hate you. Two out of five beards. Wow, again, what is this attack of the left-handed people? At least you have a board for your effects. Although the board, I mean, really, could you put a little bit more effort into that thing? Holy hell. Um, I, I see you like Nike shoes and you pile your clothes on top of the dresser. Pro tip, the clothes go in the dresser, not on top of what appears to be some kind of a 17th century piece of oak that's been made into some kind of a dresser. Good Lord, you should use that as a guitar top though. But nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a rig eh, two out of five beards. And that does it for this episode of Rated or Roast My Rig. If you would like to get your rig rated and or roasted, feel free to shoot me an email on over to rateorroast at gmail.com. Fluff out. Wow, another video gone by. Hope it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably pretty good. But if it wasn't, <laughs> awkward, right?